Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A pleasure to meet you, Your Worship. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. While in Val Royo, I found something incredible. After 800 years, we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. The texts say that Inquisitor Emeridan was a dragon hunter who vanished on his last expedition. Yes, precisely. I see you've read Lautrec's Precursors to the Chantry. Inquisitor Emeridan stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars even existed. I'm all for history if it means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. Scout Harding, you had me at equipment. Thought you might like that. Your scouts have gathered artifacts from the area. They may help us discover what Inquisitor Emeridan was doing. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who get close. We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning, merciless, and know the Basin better than we do. I'm afraid our men will not be able to hold out long. I thought we could catch up. Of course. We'll continue this another time. Be careful out there. Lady Har <clears throat> I mean, Scout Harding has an impressive team. Her people brought back a number of artifacts. If you need something tracked, Scout Harding is your woman. If only it were that easy. After 800 years, we can't just look for tracks. Barring enchantment, cloth and leather will have long since rotted away. Only metal and stone remain recognizable. Complicating this are recent pieces the Avar left behind, and, of course, ancient pieces dating back to Tevinter. Fortunately, thanks to some period-specific buckling, I've been able to track our last Inquisitor. You lost me at buckling. You'd think that a buckle was a buckle, but ever since people started belting on weapons, they've been adding bits. One piece here has a dragon engraving. With the alloys of the metals used, it's clearly Tevinter. While this one uses a clasp that wasn't invented until the dawn of the Olesian Empire. And when it comes to historical research, you might say we have to buckle down. <laughs> you said there were pieces dating back to Tevinter. Yes. While it's rare to see Tevinta ruins so far south, the Imperium once had an outpost of some sort here. They might have built it as a, a ritual site. I'm not sure what military value it could have. In any event, it's muddled up the research slightly, but I've accounted for it. What do you have, Professor? Everything so far points to the shore, not far to the south. There was some sort of battle near the shoreline. They were in a hurry. The scouts reported an island near an Avar fishing camp, but the Avar won't say much about it. I'll find a way to that island and see if there's anything useful there. Excellent. I'll continue to study what's been found. With luck, we'll both find some answers. Also, one of my research assistants, Colette, was investigating an old structure to the north. I'm not certain it's related to our investigation, 
but it couldn't hurt to check with her. The veil is wobbly here. You sure it isn't wibbly? What? Let me check. Sensing. Sensi. Definitely wobbly.
words you say. What do they mean? What, do you mean like mendicant, ultimatum? No ass when you're mad. Vishanti Kofas. You're swearing, I know it. Vishanta Kofas. It's Devine, relics of the old tongue. We still use the colour. Phrases? Actually, you shit on my tongue. Huh. It's tree for the ages.
What is this? Are the fishes of stone, Bearhole, too rude to share a meal with friends? Can the jaws of Hakon not catch their own fish? Or are those jaws only good for flapping? Mind your tongue, Bogwalker. Stone bear hold may not always. The Inquisitor! Let her blood bathe the blades of the jaws of Hakon! You are the lowlander they call Inquisitor. I am Arvid Rolfson. Well fought. The fish will feed on fool's heart wine this night. I know not what brings you here, but we have no quarrel, you and I. I find myself in need of a boat. I need to reach that island. The Lady's Rest. What? That island belongs to the Lady of the Skies. The spirits warn us to leave it be. Of course they do. I don't wish to disturb your lady, but it's important. If I give you the boat, and you anger the spirits and die, other lowlanders may come for blood. That is trouble for my hold, and not my trouble to take. Go to Stone Bear Hold and speak with my Thane, Svara Sunair. Get her blessing, and you may sail to Korth's rocky heart, if you wish. Let's take a look. The Inquisition soldier. Grandin. No, he's different. Inquisitor, I've abandoned my post, haven't I? I had cause, just missing the permission part. Harding told us about your friend Jace. He was studying at the university. Those hack-on bastards. Jace wasn't a soldier. He wasn't even armed. After this, he was going to show me Val Royale. I've never been. I thought we might... I can't let this happen. You've been fighting your way through the jaws of Hakon alone. I wasn't a soldier either, not before this. I lived in the circle. Never had the skill for combat spells, so I picked up a sword. I wanted to fight for the Inquisition. The jaws of Hakon almost ended that, too. I was bleeding out when it saw me. It knows what I know. They will not kill more people. Not like Jace. I will protect them, Inquisitor. Be this way. Release Grandin's spirit. <laughs> Release? The spirit remains because I want it. I will protect our people. I want to fight, Inquisitor.
You're not walking out of here, demon. If you stop me, then I cannot stop them. I won't allow it. You are. I was just going to look for you. I have something for you. I saw it and thought that would be perfect for our Inquisitor. Oh, pants. There's a bit of dried blood on the back. Sorry. Why is there blood on my presence? Well, you know how it is when you slice open a gurgit. I was so sure I got most of the viscera off. Wait. You pulled this out of a dead animal. Oh, Maker. When you put it that way. Oh, well, that was... thoughtful of you. I shouldn't keep you. Have a great day, Inquisitor. I've news about Scout Grandin. Maker. Don't tell me. He's dead, isn't he? Yes. He is dead. Another one, gone. Just like that. You never get used to it, do you? Maker. <laughs> I'll miss him. The boy was great company. Terrible jokes, but that was a part of his charm. You know? I should go. Goodbye, then. Danich yet lives while I was so certain of his passing. The Maker smiles on this endeavor. Your scribe, Dunwich, mentioned something called the Nox Mortar. Ah, yes. I have yet to lay eyes upon it. Pray do not request details so soon. Not when concrete evidence lies yet unturned. What are you doing out here? Once, I was content to remain in the safety of my estate. Then, with the passing of my uncle, I was obliged to join an expedition to the stranger parts of Thedas. How little of our natural world is understood. What terrors creep across the soil while we lie ignorant and ill-prepared. If you knew what I do of the common fennec, you would not sleep. From that day onward, I have studied the wilds and the beasts therein. I've evidence of your Nox Mortar, I think. Yes. To observe the mark of the teeth? Let me see. 
Gurgut and Gurgut. But this, a beast unclassified and interested in the bait presented. What lies before us is an opportunity to greet the unknowable. Yet I confess fear, knowing I lack the skill to confront it. Surely Andraste's Herald does not share my limitation. If you would take the bait and confirm its existence, I would be in the Inquisition's debt. What can you tell me about Nox Mortar? Mere scraps of knowledge gleaned from bloodstained papers. They speak of a creature enamored of shadow lurking in the darkest places. Silence pays it favor, concealing its eyed bulk until a stretched mouth takes its prey. Of course, some of my colleagues deem the beast a mere fancy. I should go. Inquisitor. The Mortisan said to place the bait here. We need to find a good spot. Is that... Wait! Did you hear that?
a very aggressive bog fisher. Not what I expected. Del Mortizan will want to hear about this. Inquisitor. Still finding it difficult to breathe, but I'm not strewn across the landscape, so thank you. I'm Colette, Professor Kenrick's research assistant. I was hoping to conduct a survey of a Tavinta ruin in the hills. I may not have chosen the best route. You're Kenrick's research assistant, so that makes you a student at the University of Orlais? It does. Why? Orlesian institutions aren't always accepting of elves. We can't all run inquisitions, but I imagine you've caught whispers behind your back, too. The university accepts those worthy of admission, though elven students are few. How do you find it there? It's not easy, but this is what I want, and I like working for Professor Kenrick. Elven research students where publications concerned, their works often deemed not substantial enough for formal credit. But Kenrick cares about people who want to learn. If our research finds an audience, I know my name will be included. What were you hoping to find at the ruin? The Tevinter's time here was brief, but their architecture endured, offering shelter, forming landmarks. Ancient Avar would have encountered these structures, which certainly predate Inquisitor Emeridan. Evaluating the ruins could offer insight into the region's history, once I can get set up. You're still going there? I've read everything we have on Emeridan, and studied up on new excavation techniques. I won't waste this opportunity. If you've a map, I can show you my destination, if you'd be interested in the findings. Stay safe. I will. Thank you. 